Hi, I'm a medical doctor and it's come to my attention that some people have been hoarding toilet paper in an effort to fight coronavirus. <laughs> Great idea! Panicking is a solid and proven method of prevention. But now you've got all this toilet paper and you're asking yourself, how exactly is this gonna help me ward off coronavirus? Maybe we should have asked ourselves this a little bit earlier. But we couldn't, cause we were panicking. So I've got you covered. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a corona-proof isolation hut, a toilet paper bunker. I'll show you one that I've just got to put the finishing touches on. As you can see, I've gone for three walls and a roof. The main thing you need to think about is leaving a cavity inside big enough for yourself to be comfortable in, because this is your new home. Some people have asked, I've purchased two ply toilet paper. Will that be as effective in warding off coronavirus as three ply? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Do you want coronavirus? No, science has shown us that three ply is the minimum thickness we need to keep the virus out. How does the toilet paper wall actually work? Well, pretend that this roll is the coronavirus and it comes along like this. Once it reaches the actual wall, it can't get through. Well, the actual virus won't, um, it won't push that hard, so. Um, in the real world, it's very safe. If you were lucky enough to score yourself some hand sanitizer as well, you can build yourself a corona-proof barrier around your hut. When the virus comes to the barrier, it's like, <laughs> this guy's not mucking around. No deal here. So there you have it. You've constructed your very own coronavirus bunker faster than China can build a hospital in Wuhan. <laughs>